Hey guys, basically I'm back here, and we're, yep, we're doing another custom plush review video. I know I done the Moon Man uh, last time, but I just really like these custom plush reviews, and I have a lot of plushies to show off. Like, no, seriously, look, I have a tub of plushies, and yes, uh, you did see some sneak peeks of other custom plushies, so, and you will see reviews on those soon. Soon, you'll probably see a Dreadbear, or probably the Halloween characters, uh, like, somewhat more near October, even though it is October now, but at the time of recording this, but still. Anyways, let's move on to the first custom plushie, and the custom plushies that I'm gonna re be reviewing today, which I'm pretty sure you saw in the title, are, of course, the Arcade Mayhem animatronics, or plushies, or whatever you want to call them. So first of all, of course, we have VR Toy Freddy. Now, at first, I was okay with this. And the reason why was because of the headset. So, obviously, so the headset is made of cardboard. You can see that it's made of cardboard. The strip goes all around. I know the ears on the back aren't filled in, but honestly, you can't really tell. And if you're wondering what I used for this, I used... Uh, the purple black light foxy plush for this because as you can see uh the little tufts of fur or I cut I cut off the tufts of fur and just kinda make made glue that in to make it look like this. And yeah, back then I was okay with this. And the reason why was because like this is the outline of where you look out of the VR goggles or whatever. And it I just in my opinion I thought it was too low but Honestly, you look at the plush itself, it looks pretty good, and I'm okay with that. So next on, and we're also, we're gonna go in order from when these were released. So for, so of course, it was VR Toy Freddy, and now, High Score Toy Chica. Now, I really like this one. I think it's because of the face, but one of the main things I gave her was her little 8-bit cupcake. And this is actually just... Uh, like I printed out a picture of of the 8-bit cupcake and just glued on a piece of cardboard. And also, same with the bib. Like I got it off high score a high score toy chica picture and I just glued it on. Cause it's really hard to you know cut out felt uh letters on on a really tiny bib. And yeah, and I'm pretty sure. Um, so like. And for the base I used for this one, I used a, a blue foxy uh, plush for this. And you can tell because, uh, like, like you see, uh, the tufts of fur I cut out. But you could barely, oh shoot, you could barely notice it. But honestly, I think it looks good and I really like this tufts of fur. Like, it's like... I think with the Tufts of Fur, it really does look like High Score Toy Chica, or Toy Chica in general. So anyway, now we're going on to the third character of Arcane Mayhem, and that is System Error Toy Bonnie. Now, for this one, as you can tell, I actually made from scratch. The belly, I printed out a piece of paper and just glued it on because, I, like I said, I can't write that small on on small plushies, but, you know. But, I really like how I made the face. The face, you can, you can barely tell since it's all red, but I made his face look extremely accurate to the Toy Bon, to Sisamera Toy Bonnie and, uh, Toy Bonnie itself. Because, as you know, Funko's Toy Bonnie is really ugly, and I think this looks way better. If this wasn't Sisamera Toy Bonnie and just normal Toy Bonnie, I'm pretty sure this would sell more better than the toy, the actual Toy Bonnie plush. I mean, I'm pretty sure this Toy Bonnie's plush did sell well. Just, I don't know. You know what I mean. That, like, this would sell more if it wasn't System Error, but... Yeah, like I said, this is all made from scratch. No base of a plush or anything. The ears are just two pieces of felt, so they wouldn't flop over. And that's technically it for... To some Mary Toy Bonnie. Now, the last plush of Arcane Mayhem and the Arcane Mayhem event is 8 Bit Baby. Now, obviously, when I made this, I 
I'm just being honest, I really like this plush. Now, obviously this is not a plush. Like, from like from the front, you may, you may see him like, hmm, this may, may look weird. But literally, it's just a piece of, t like, a piece of cardboard. Just, I just glued felt on it. But, honestly, it looks way better than I expected it to be. I think one of, one of the hardest parts, like, was just making the square, um, pig, like, pigtails. And, like, the arms. Like, literally, just the arms and the pigtails are were the only hard thing. And, of course, all the separate pieces and everything. Her back is all covered. And, and in, in FNAF AR, she does have a big fan, so that's why the fan's so big. But, honestly, I felt... And I and I did use Sharpie for the mouth and for for these things, whatever they're called. But yeah, overall, I would say that is it for Arcade Mayhem. Uh, let comment down below if the comments are available. I swear, if YouTube de like deletes the comment section, I swear to God. But it, like, if the comments are available, comment down below if you want to see one on either Frostbear. Uh, Chocolate Bonnie, Shamrock Freddy, or Easter Bonnie, or um, if you get this video to um, 20 likes, you you'll see them in just one video: Shamrock Freddy, Freddy Frostbear, Easter Bonnie, and Chocolate Bonnie. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Follow me on TikTok at basically.adam, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.